Hello, in this video, I'm going to talk about anatomy and physiology of the uterus and vagina. Um, so the uterus is the site of implantation of a fertilized ovum, development of a fetus, and labor. Uh, it's also the source of menstrual flow if implantation does not occur. Uh, it's located superior to the urinary bladder and anterior to the rectum. So in this picture, this portion here is the uterus. All right, so regions of the uterus. Um, so the fundus is the dome-shaped portion up on top. Um, so we have a fundus of the uterus. There's also a fundus of the stomach. In um, both cases, it's referring to the rounded superior portion of the organ. Uh, you can remember, this is sort of crude, but you can remember it as like it's more fun on top. The fundus is the portion on top. It's the superior part of both organs. Um, then the body is the tapering central portion. So that's this whole part of the uterus here. Um, the cervix is this just very small, narrow portion at the most inferior part um, where uh, the uterus attaches to the vagina. So this is the vagina here. And then here's the cervix that comes down inside of the vagina. So the, the vagina comes up and wraps around and attaches to the outside like that. Um, and then the uterine cavity is simply referring to the empty space inside of the uterus. So the layers of the walls of the uterus, uh, we have three layers. The parametrium, para-like perimeter, that's the outside layer. Uh, so that's the outer serous membrane layer. So uh, the outside has a serous membrane so that uh, there, we're reducing friction between um, the organ and all the other organs and, and structures inside of the cavity. Um, so most of our visceral organs have a serous membrane on the outside. Um, it's sort of like a mucous membrane, uh, but the fluid is more slippery and less sticky um, because the purpose is to reduce friction. So we, we're secreting this sort of slippery fluid so that when um, another organ rubs against the uterus or whatever other organ has a serous membrane that we're not creating friction and there's no injury there. Uh, the myometrium, myo as in muscle, so that's the middle layer that is made of, of heavy, thick muscle. Um, and then endometrium, endo as in inside. So endometrium, that's the innermost layer, and that is a mucous membrane. Um, so we have mucous membranes that are lining the organs and tracts that are exposed to the outside environment. Um, so because the vagina is open to the outside environment and then the vagina opens into the uterus, that means the inside of the uterus is also open and exposed to the outside environment. Um, so that whole tract is uh, lined with mucous membrane. Okay, the vagina is a tubular canal that extends from its opening in the vulva to the uterine cervix. Okay, so here the uterus should be here. <laughs> I don't know why they didn't include that in this picture, but uh, the uterus would be here. Here is the opening to the vagina that is located within the vulva. I have another video about that if you're if you want to review. Um, and so the opening is there. There's the vaginal canal, and then it connects to the uterus right here. So the uterus, um, as I mentioned in you know one of the past slides, it's anterior. Uh, to the rectum, that's what is here. And it's on top of, it's superior to the urinary bladder. So that's the uterus right here. Um, so a vaginal canal, a vagina is coming up this way. So it's the receptacle for the penis during intercourse, outlet for menstrual flow, passageway for childbirth. Um, and so the vagina is located uh, between the urinary bladder and the rectum. Uh, so the vagina is an internal structure. It's an internal organ. Uh, so from the outside, you could see the opening, and that's part of the vulva, uh, but you don't actually see the vagina from the outside. You just see the opening to the vagina. Uh, so the vagina has the fornix. So that's this part, the most superior portion, um, and that's the part that hugs around the cervix. So the cervix is the part of the uterus that is most inferior. And then the vaginal fornix kind of comes up and hugs around the outside to form that connection between the uterus and the vagina. Uh, the mucosa of the vagina 
um, creates an especially acidic environment. So the purpose is to slow bacterial growth and prevent infection. Um, it also makes it kind of a hostile environment for sperm, which is why semen has um, very alkaline substances in it to help uh, combat the acidic environment to keep the semen or to keep the sperm alive in the semen. Uh, then the muscular layer in the vagina is made of smooth muscle and has a very extreme ability to stretch, of course, to accommodate intercourse and to accommodate childbirth. Uh, the hymen is an interesting <laughs> topic. Uh, it's a thin fold of mucous membrane that might be partially covering the vaginal orifice. Um, so not every woman had a hymen or has a hymen um, regardless of virginity or not. So the hymen um, has long been thought to be present until uh, intercourse. And so if there is no hymen, it means that the person is not a virgin, but that is not at all the case. Um, so um, the hymen, it's a thin fold of mucous membrane that is sort of like a leftover piece of tissue from when the vagina was forming when the baby is still in utero. So before the baby's even born, the vagina forms and it forms slightly differently in everyone. And so there might be a slight piece of extra tissue that didn't form to become part of the vagina and is left over as like a little um, tiny sort of flap at the opening. And that would be the hymen. So some women don't have one at all because all of the tissue is used in the formation of the vagina. Uh, some women have a very small one, some women have larger ones. Um, and then even if someone does have a hymen, it can be ruptured in all sorts of activities. So like horseback riding is a common one um, and all sorts of different things throughout childhood and life. It can, it can be ruptured, damaged, it recedes and so it's very common to not have a hymen at all, regardless of whether someone has had intercourse or not. All right, well, that's all I have for you. Thanks so much for watching.